Okay, business calculus top three, homework. Looking at problem number three, I see that, that the um, marginal cost, the marginal profit, which is the derivative function, is equal to 2 minus 0.002x, where x is the um, input of the price. And we're trying to find all the values for x for which the marginal profit is equal to 0. So we're going to set this equal to 0 and then solve for x. Adding 0.002x to both sides, 0.002x, we get 0.002x equals 2. And then we'll divide everything by 0 0.002, 0 0.002. And for x, we're going to get, let's see, 2 divided by 0 0.002, and 1,000. And so that's the x that we're looking for. Next, we want to look at number 5. Number 5, we're looking for, let's see, the cost of the, um, oh, the cost. Um, since the whole equation is in millions of dollars, when you have that, the answer of 269.68, if this is in millions, then this portion right here is in the millions right here. So we have to convert that into millions. So this will be 2696800. And so now this part is in the millions. So we don't write it in the thousands. We write it as a millions right here. Okay. Um, next. Number nine. Okay, number nine, we're looking for the marginal profit. Well, profit function equals 9x plus square root of x. We'll convert this into a fractional exponent, which is x to the one half power, and we'll take a derivative, which will give us our marginal profit. 9x, the derivative is 9. This will be plus one half x to the negative one half power because I sub subtracted one from the power here. And now let's convert this into one over two. The x is not denominator because of the, the um, negative, and the one half creates a fraction. Okay, and now we're looking for, let's see, we have 50 magazines, so x equals 50. So we're going to put um, 9 plus 1 over 2 times the square root of 50. And let's figure that out here. Um, let's see. Hmm. 1 divided by the quantity 2 times the square root of 50, close parenthesis, close parenthesis, and then we want to add 9 to that result. Okay, so it'll be nine dollars and seven cents per. Oh, I'm not sure what p is. Um, sorry, x. Yeah, well, we won't worry about the units. Um, but it should be uh, nine dollars and seven cents for additional magazine. Let's see. And next we want to look at number 20. Okay. Number 20. We have um, f of x equals the square root of x plus 1 all over the square root of x plus 2. And we have that x equals 4. We want to find the linear equation that goes through, um, that's tangent to this line at 4. So we need a point and a slope. Well, to find the point, we've got to put the 4 in. So let's put 4 in for x. And that will give us the square root of 4, which is 2 plus 1, and 2 plus 2, which will give us 3 fourths. 
Okay, so our point, 4 comma 3 fourths. Now to get the slope, we need a derivative. So let's go back to the function and make this into x to the 1 half power plus 1 and x to the 1 half power plus 2. And for the derivative, I'm going to use the quotient rule. And so we're going to have um, the um, denominator, x to the 1 half plus 2, and then x to the 1 half plus 1 derivative there, x to the 1 half plus 1, x to the 1 half plus 2 derivative there, and then one, x to the 1 half here plus 2, all raised to the second power. All right. Now, the derivative of this, we'll start taking derivatives here, here. This will be x to the 1 half plus 2, and this will be um, 1 half x to the negative 1 half, and this will be minus x to the 1 half plus 1, and this will be 1 half x to the negative 1 half. It's kind of hard to see that last little piece there. All over x to the 1 half plus 2 all square. All right. Every time we put a 4 in for all the x's, we'll get a square root. So, square root of 4 is 2, and 2 plus 2 is 4. Um, the square root of x again is 4. Oh, sorry, square root of 4 again is 2, but since that's a negative there, there'll be a 1 half, so it'll be 1 fourth. Um, the square root of 4 again is 2, plus 1 is 3. And here again, the square root here is going to be one half, which is one half times one half, which is one fourth. Uh, here, the square root of four is two plus two is four. Four squared is sixteen. So um, this is going to give me one. This is going to give me negative three fourths all over sixteen. Now I'm going to multiply everything by four, and this will give me four minus three in the numerator. And in the denominator, I'm going to get a big number. Um, 6 times 4 is 24 to 64. So that's 1 over 64. And that's my slope. All right, so now that I know my slope, um, I have my point, which is 4 comma 3 fourths. My slope is 1 over 64. And so y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. That's my point slope equation. The opposite of y is 3 fourths. Slope is 1 over 64. x minus 4. So y minus 3 fourths equals 1 over 64 x. And then times this, um, let's see, 4 goes into 6. Oh, that'll be 16. Okay, and then we'll add our three fourths to both sides. Okay, so y is going to equal one over sixty-four x. Do not put that x in the denominator with that um, with that um, with that sixty-four. Uh, let's see here. This will be. 4 times this would be 64. Um, we add it plus 3 to both sides. Something is, oh, I'm sorry, that should be 1 over 16. 1 over 16. And then I multiply this one by 4. And that'll become 12 and 11 over 16. All right, that's it. All right, that was number 20. Oh, I'm sorry, that, that was number 21. That was actually number 21. Okay. Um, let's go over 20. 20, we have f of x equals x to the 0 0.2 power plus 1 and x squared plus x, and x equals 1. All right, the derivative here, we're going to use the product rule, which will be x0.2 plus 1 derivative times x squared plus x plus 
x102 plus 1 times x squared plus x derivative. The derivative here will be 0 0.2 times x and we subtract 1 from there we get 0 point, negative 0 0.8. This stays x squared plus x and plus x0.2 um, plus 1. The derivative here is going to be 2x plus 1. Okay, and we have the slope here. Now, um, the slope we find the slope by putting one in for all the x's. If I put one in here, this becomes uh, one and point two, so we get point two. Put one here, we get one plus one, which is two. We put one here, we get one plus one, which is two. Put one here, we get two plus one, which is three. And that's going to be a um, 0.4, and that's going to be a 6. So 6.4. Um, now that's the slope. Now we need a point. So we'll take the original equation, put 1 in there. And if I put 1 in here, I get 1 plus 1, which is 2. I put 1 in here, I get 1 plus 1, which is 2. And that's 4. So that point will be x is 1, y is 4. So y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. And we put in the 4 for the y. The slope we put in the 6.4. And for x we put in the um, 1. All right, so y minus 4 equals 6.4 x minus 6.4. And then add 4 to both sides. I get y equals 6.4 x. And this will be negative 2.4